Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Motor Mike Media and as always I'm Motor Mike and today I had to make a video talking about the brand new 2023 Chevy Colorado and in my personal opinion they did a great job of the overall design. The previous Colorado it was a good truck for what it was but the overall body was kind of simple kind of plain. This new one stands out and I always love it when they take a little bit of a risk. It's chiseled, it's edgy, they took a lot of time to work the body to make it look like it's off-road ready and pretty much all the trims. Now what are the trims you say? Well the work trucks still here. That's the Steely's, the bare bones model, and it looks pretty decent even though it's got like plastic uh, cladding all the way around it. Now the interior of that base one still looks pretty nice. Standard is an 11.3 inch screen and an 8 inch digital gauge cluster. And the overall design has a little bit better materials even on this work truck model. After that you go to the LT that gives you some of the niceties, alloyed wheels, a little bit more tech on the inside, a little bit more premium. And then you move up to the Z71. The Z71 is where you start your off-road but also have the nice luxury features you want on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're someone that wants a little bit more off-road focus, the Trail Boss is finally here for the Colorado, and I like that thing. It's got uh, more cladding to make it look a little bit more off-road ready. The interior is nicely uh, upholsterated with more premium materials, red stitching to accent the Trail Boss trim, special wheels, a two-inch lift, and some other good off-road goodies. But if you're super serious, the ZR2 is here, guys. Now, basically, the ZR2, it's big, it's bold, and I love the overall styling. It's really edgy. I like the accents and trimming. Now this has three inches of lift. You have all those extra skid plates, locking differentials. You also have those multi-matic shocks that the previous generation had. They took all those goodies, came in uh, and put in this brand new platform. And what I really like is the interior of the Z71 is the most premium looking. You have some camo here, nice orange, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yellow stitching and the more premium materials. Like I said, that 11.3 inch screen is standard, but as you move up the trims, they add more features and more tech to those things. You still have hard touch buttons. You still have a gear lever. The interior finally feels modern, finally feels up to date, and I love how we're getting standard tech. Now, what's the pricing? We don't know yet, but it's gonna be more expensive than the outgoing model like everything else is. And the power plants, the regular four cylinder is gone, the V6 is gone, and the diesel's gone. All that's left is a 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder engine with three variants. The base one is basically the one you get in the work truck and the LT is standard. And that makes 237 horsepower and 259 pound feet of torque. Moving up from there is the plus, as they like to call it. That's 310 horsepower and about 390 pound-feet of torque. That's going to be the volume seller uh, that's found in basically all the other trims and is optional in the war truck and LT. But that top dog, ZR2, that comes standard with the high output model. Now, it still has only 310 horsepower, but you have 430 pound-feet of torque. Now that base version of that engine can only tow about 3,500 pounds, but the higher ones, that can tow 7,700 pounds. So you can tow more than the previous generation. You have more power, you have more tech, and better styling. But I want to know what you guys think. What are things you like and don't like about this new Colorado? Are you excited for the overall design? Is it something you're into or is it not? And what do you think about the option of only having one power plant with three different versions? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And if you haven't already and you'll want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. That's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, just like this, and EVs, a little bit of everything. But please, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way, guys, can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.